Mr. Truck here with the latest and greatest in products that'll improve your truck and trailer. And I'm in Utah with the guys from WaySafe, that new hitch I've been telling you about that actually has a built-in tongue way scale. And I'm here with Brandon and Bryce Doman. So we're standing by this spaceship. What is this? This is a lathe machine for our uh, stainless steel balls that we'll be producing here. We just actually got this machine in here last week. We're excited about it, and, and uh, we'll have a great impact on our production. Great. It's all about efficiency, getting the cost as low as you can. And you two brothers own the company. So, Bryce, you're, you're heavily involved. I'm much older than him. <laughs> much more his senior. No, yeah, we've... Uh, We've been at this about two years, actually. Uh, it started the first prototype about two years ago with an engineer whose office is up in that corner up there. His name's Kevin McAllister. And we, we uh, realized that Kevin is a great talent and that he had a really great idea. And so, yeah, we started investing in, in, in uh, this idea. And next thing you know, instead of just being passive investors, we, we got so excited about it that we've, we have uh, become completely integrated into this business. It's a great product. It's a beautiful product. It looks like a piece of art. I met you guys at SEMA the last two years. I met your dad out there a couple of years ago. So the, the whole family's been involved. This is a great, great product made in the USA. This is awesome. <laughs> That's not easy to do. But we'll go through and we'll talk about the process and some of the products you use in it and the stainless steel ball and all that. And we'll go to the next giant machine over here. Okay, Brandon, this is your other big machine here at the factory. And this one actually creates your hitch, your drawbar, everything you have out of that, uh, that one block of aluminum, which is awesome. So this is uh, the high grade, like is that a military grade type aluminum? Or I know Ford talks about that. Cimarron uses a similar aluminum on their horse trailers, yeah. which is top end, which means it doesn't, uh, you know, rot and a few other things. I mean, I've seen some trailers that were built out of a cheaper aluminum and, you know, the magnesium chloride on the, on, the, on the roads that they do in Colorado for the mountain passes in the winter and all that can corrode a cheap aluminum. But you have the, the top end. Yeah, so the name of the aluminum or the type of aluminum is 6061 T6 aluminum. Um, it's a solid steel bar of aluminum that's extruded from a mold. We buy it straight out of the, um, out of the extrusion plant. Uh, and it comes in big long strips of, you know, bars of aluminum, and we stick those bars of aluminum inside the CNC machine, and it it really is the artist. You know, we we design the renderings and all the three mod 3D modeling, but uh, a good machinist will come in here and program this machine, and we stick the aluminum inside, and next thing you know, you've got a, you know, a draw bar with all the different holes for, uh, for the rise and the drop of the system, your receiver uh, lock holes, and then it actually will produce the slider itself. So there's different blocks and different block sizes as we stick inside this milling machine. Um, but it's, it's never ceased to amaze me what this machine can do as it, as it produces these products. And most of the time this machine's running 24 hours a day. We showed the other machine, which is a new product. We had been outsourcing the stainless steel balls and now we actually are, are producing those in-house. And so between the CNC machine, the lathe machine, they're both manufactured with the same company. Um, our, our ability to output and and produced to supply demand has increased significantly and we're looking forward to a big 2015. Well that's great. Well Bill, it's always been associated with high quality and you got the high quality aluminum which is a big deal and these are gorgeous hitches, you know, it's a piece of art. It's something you want to show your friends. But it's well made, it does so many just different things and you've got the machinery to make it properly so it's, it's great, it's great. Well thanks for showing me all your machines. You bet. Appreciate it Kent. We produce this product in three different sizes, your 10 inch drop, your six inch drop, and your four inch drop. It comes in both the two and a half inch shank and the two inch shank. As you can see, each product comes with two stainless steel balls included, a two inch and a two and five sixteenths inch ball. I'm gonna show you the packaging because we're proud of the packaging. Each, each pocket package comes with a sleeve. And it, the internal box here comes with your instruction manual, the warranty that comes inside the box. 
and then the actual product itself. So your drawbar <coughs> comes with your built-in, your, your slider with its actual lock pin system here. And I'm going to show you how that works in just a minute. And then I'll give you a little bit of a close-up as it relates to the scale and how that works. But it comes with your, draw, your, your actual slider. This is your 6-inch drop slider. I'm sorry, your 6-inch drop drawbar. And your 6 inches are going to be from the top of the, the drop down to the actual ball itself. And then each system comes with both sizes of balls included, like I mentioned, your 2 and 5 16 inch stainless steel ball and your 2 inch stainless steel ball. Okay, let me demonstrate how this works. This slider comes with two locks, uh, uh, two keys. You'll be able to take those keys and put it either on your keychain of your truck, put it in your, in your uh, glove department, wherever you choose to put that. Your lock pin, your ball pin lock, resides inside the actual slider when it comes to your home. This is a 2 and 5 16 inch ball. I'm going to show you quickly how it works. Inside each slider is an actual piston or a plunger. That piston or plunger resides on top of a bed of hydraulic oil which pressurizes this gauge and measures your tongue weight. So when I place this ball on top of that actual piston inside there and I take that lock pin and put it inside there and I lock that ball in place. Now that ball is locked on the slider. And now to engage or to keep that pin from coming out, you now put it on top of the actual drawbar itself. Put it to the desired height that you want it at, and then, oh, I got it on the wrong side. Then I'm actually going to lock it in place. So I put those, those two slider locks, lock pins inside the desired height, put it in, turn my key. The key will not come out. If, okay, if it's locked, it'll actually pull the slider out. So now that I've locked the system in place, I can pull the key out, and there's your what we call the WaySafe 6-2.5, your 6-inch drop with your 2.5-inch shaft. And now to disengage that, I go back in here, I unlock that, pull the actual slider lock out itself, pull that off, I'm going to disengage the ball, put my 2-inch ball in, ball pin lock back inside there, put it back on the slider. One thing that's cool about this product is when it's on your truck you can actually pull that slider off and stow it away which is kind of a neat feature here. So I'm back on again, I want the full six inch drop on the slider. I put it at the six inch desired height. I lock it in place. There's my six inch drop to the ball with a two inch uh, ball on, on, uh, on the actual ball mount itself. If you look closely, if you just zoom in here on the scale, this weight safe scale <clears throat> measures out at 3,000 pounds. The ball itself measures out at 1,500 pounds. So you you're told here on the scale that you ought not exceed 1,500 pounds on the actual tongue itself or on the ball itself. The two and five, uh, the two and a half inch shaft actual capacity reading here, as you look at the rated reading, is 12,500 pounds on the trailer weight, and then the tongue weight on the ball is 1,500 pounds. So again, going back to the actual scale itself, if I've got a 10,000 pound load on the back of my truck, then I should be at 10 to 15 percent. We just tell everybody to get to 10 percent of your trailer weight, your gross trailer weight, and drive away safely. So I would want to place my trailer on top, the pressure reader will be engaged, I get to a thousand pounds on that scale, drive away. If I've got any type of fluctuating weight, or, um, any type of cinder block, uh, ATVs, um, material, concrete, whatever it might be, I may need to slide those back or forth a few feet and make sure that I'm on safe towing, tongue towing weight. So 10% of your gross trailer weight, drive away safely.
one of the important features of the WaySafe product, when you're buying WaySafe, we know that you're going to be paying a little bit more money for this particular product. You're getting the benefit of weighing your trailer. Uh, and that feature alone, uh, driving safe and having particular safe towing uh, as you're driving down the freeway, in and of itself is worth the extra dollars you're going to spend. But we also want to make sure that you're getting a very high quality ball. Uh, most of the balls in the industry are zinc plated or chrome plated balls. And as you wear through that ball on the back of your, uh, of your ball mount, it begins to change in appearance. Uh, and it begins to cheapen the look of the actual product. A stainless steel system, while it gets worn and it, and it wears and you get scratches and other things on it, will maintain the appearance of the stainless steel. And if you're buying a $300 product and it's a, an aluminum product with stainless steel component on there, you want the stainless steel to maintain some of the virtue of the look as the aluminum uh, product maintains its, its shiny appearance. And, and uh, hence the reason we've gone with stainless steel balls. And this, pro this machine here is now allowing us to take the material that you just saw, uh, put it through this, actual, this lathe machine, and produce our own stainless steel balls in-house, uh, which I had mentioned earlier increases our capacity and our ability to uh, get these out of higher quantities. I'm here with Verl Doman. He is Bryce and, and Brandon's dad. And he was with the folks at the beginning of this and how it all started. Tell me how you got into this. Well, it goes back be before we ever knew there was such a thing. We were actually in a business where we uh, had a machine that extruded concrete lawn borders. And uh, we hired crews to, and actually ended up taking our own crew, Kevin and, or Bryce and Brandon went with me out when they were teenagers and we put in these concrete edgings around lawns. And we would end up loading a trailer full of sand and if you uh, used up some of that sand in the process, why well, it changed the weight uh, on the trailer, changed the weight uh, dimensions on the trailer. And so I remember going down the freeway a few times and having those trailers go out and start fishtailing on me. And uh, didn't get into a wreck, fortunately, but I know that there are lots of wrecks because of that. So uh, then later we ended up uh, manufacturing uh, an alternative to that extruded border, which is little blocks that we make for Home Depot. And uh, in our little plant, um, it's a precast, concrete pre precast plant, they call it. If a forklift or a front end loader would uh, break down, we, we just had to go rent one instantly. And, and then putting those on the trailer in the right place so that you didn't uh, have too much weight or too little weight in fishtail was another issue that we had to deal with. So we had some personal experience and when our, our friend Kevin McAllister showed us this uh, scale idea, we could see the practical advantage of that right off. And so because of our other business, we were able to join him and uh, maybe finance part of the development of this and that's, that's how it started. Well, that's great. So your own personal story of how dangerous Traders Way is is what you got into this for. Yeah, that's, that's good. I'm that, glad you did. We, we've seen and, and heard of uh, fatal fatalities that have come from those types of accidents from either boats or that people load too much on the back of the boat or even motorhomes if they put their all of their food and their hunting gear and their camping gear in the back, it could be too, they'll fishtail. And especially, of course, if you're loading equipment, that's obvious. It became yeah. very obvious. If you're loading a piece of equipment, you don't know where to, how far forward to put it and so forth. So anyway, it, it was obvious to us. And, and so we finally decided, well, listen, we better do it because it was. And then we went down to SEMA. We, were, we hadn't started production yet. We went down to the SEMA show in 2013 and entered it into the new products, as you probably have discussed already, that we, we won the the first place in the new products division of, they call it uh, tools and equipment. And we got a lot of attention from that. And so we're just really now have, have modified it, improved upon it, made sure after testing it that it's ready to go to market. And so now, as you can see, we're in production. Well, that's great. And even loading a car on a car trailer, you know, a lot of times you load it too far forward, too far back, and you won't know until you get out on the freeway and you think swaying all over, well, this way you'll know before you get on the freeway and before you endanger me 
Well, I like the idea. It's great. I'm glad you guys did this. Well, you saw in, uh, maybe w when you came down and visited our booth in uh, 2013, you saw the video that we used on, uh, in our little display there, and it was of a car on the back of a trailer that began to fishtail, and the whole thing rolled. Oh, and these yeah. guys were talking in German or Russian or something. They were cussing <laughs> because they, they could see this coming, and then they, they didn't talk anymore because the thing rolled. Oh, yeah. they, well, that's, that's the thing is who out there knows what their tongue weight is? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a mystery number that we all need to know to be safe, and I'm glad you've got this. Mm -hmm.